ever since I saw that sign that said no filming people or staff. Respect them, please. Nobody wants to film you. I only film hot guys and your staff, so they need to calm they shit down. Anyway, I'm here because I haven't been here forever. Um, I'm still limping like a limp dick. But um, I'm going to see if they have a cane. I think I need a cane because a cane would help me a lot. And yeah, I'm still like walking like this. It hurts like oh. Anyway, I hope we find some good stuff to resell too. Okay. <laughs> 30 bucks. Maybe we'll take a look at it. That one right there is like a coach bag. It's actually kind of cute too. It's mulberry, but I don't know if it's real. I mean, all the markings are there. And it has that inside. Birch for 50. Uh, fake Chanel, I think. I think that's fake Chanel for 20. Big Prada for 20, I think. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm a fan of the tie dye. It's only like $7.50. It's extra large. One of these winter jackets from TA. It's a small this time, but it's 35 bucks. I thrifted this exact same one in a medium and it sold for 85. But I don't know if a small would sell. I mean, these are 275, so. I got this deep fryer. It's nice and small and portable, so it doesn't take up so much oil. I purchased it because it's super clean. You, I tested it as well. Usually, it's um, when you find things like these, they're like all crusty and gross, but this one is like super, super clean. And it was only 10 bucks minus 20%. Uh, percent. Um, that's why I got it. Hey guys, Miss Philly here. We're coming from the Pembina Valley Village. Oh, as much as I want to not like this Pembina Valley Village, the managers there are super nice. I talked to one of the managers and they're super, super nice. And we were like small chatting, but yeah, oh, whatever. It is what it is, right? Anyway, okay, we purchased a couple of things. You guys saw I purchased that little deep fryer. Um, I usually use like uh, extra virgin olive oil and I have a big one at home, but I find that it just takes so much oil and Sometimes you want just to cook something so small and sometimes the oil's not there and then you have to put more oil and olive oil is super, extra virgin olive oil is super expensive. So it's nice that this one is small, compact, stainless steel and super inexpensive, basically like $8.50, $8 for it. You can't beat that. I did test it as well. Then we picked up a couple of other things. This we picked up for um, Nancy's daughter, Lauren, because she loves BTS. So I picked this up for her. Um, yeah, it's super cute. The only issue with it, there's a little bit of a snag right here, but I'm sure Nancy can just snip that off and it has all the members on the back. I think I'll go drop that off for her today. This was $6. We picked up this Michael Kors t-shirt. This was $7.50. It's an extra large. I wasn't sure about the tie dye, but whatever. I think I can work with it. And it just says MK and crystals in front. And this was $7.50 minus uh, a $2 off coupon that I used on it. This was the find of the day. Now I'm going to teach you guys a lesson or a little, you know, whatever, a lesson, but whatever. I'm kind of, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of uh, uh, giving up a secret, a thrifting secret. So maybe that's the title of this video, Thrifting Secrets Revealed. And anyway, when you're thrifting, it's kind of overwhelming when you're going through a lot of clothes. And that's kind of why I did not want to, to thrift for clothes because it's just so overwhelming with all the things that you have to look for. And, you know, it's just monotonous going like this all the time and your eyes are darting all over the place. But I come to realize that when you find a quality piece, you know it's quality based on how it looks aesthetically. So basically, you're judging a book by its cover. Now, I, I saw this label and I was like, okay... That label looks super expensive. And then next thing I saw was this number, 44. And I know like European sizes usually label their stuff 44. Then I looked at the material and it was like 85% pure wool, 15% Angora. And I'm like, okay, those are high-end materials. Then I looked at the Might in France and I was like, okay, this bitch was probably expensive, okay? And then I pulled up some, you know, what's her name? 
Sonia Raquel, Sonia Raquel, whatever, how, Raquel, whatever you, however you pronounce it. And those are the, how much her shit retails for. For a sweater, $500 US for a sweater. Must be one bougie bitch living in France, this designer. But the fact that it's made in France, it's bougie ass materials, and the, all the embellishments all over, it also has um, shoulder pads in it. Really cute, very Lady Gaga, circa 2011. But um, yeah, that's this. This Nancy's actually messaging me on Messenger right now. So this was a super duper find. Um, it's an extra large, or is it a large? It's a large. But the fact that that's how much it retails for, hello, and for fifteen dollars minus twenty percent, you can't go wrong with that. So there's some tips for you. Look at the label. Does the label look expensive and crisp and minimal and clear? The, what's where is it made from even though it's made from china those those shit can be expensive too obviously like aritzia is made in china um a lot of other prada is actually some of their shit is made in china now too like their bags i know right so don't just think because it's made in china that it's not expensive so but when it's obviously made in france and made in italy obviously it's probably going to be more expensive statistically but look at the label look at the materials look at the sizing and look at the where it's made from <laughs> and those are some tips from you to see and then once you see all that and you're like you know in your head it's like boom 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 google it and then you know i'm pretty sure it'll come up expensive or you can just google it if you want first but i don't want to be pumping up my phone and googling every single item you know that becomes really really annoying and very monotonous very redundant so it's kind of like when you see label nice made in france italy materials wool cashmere linen and then you see the the sizing oh it's euro sizing then google it expensive shit anyway guys i'm not sure if we're gonna have another clip or video after this filming inside was minimal because obviously they don't want you filming in there usually but um that coach purse the i think that was a swagger bag but it was just too small it was kind of worn and i don't the color was too much and then the Chanel bags, the one I know was fake, obviously, so I didn't even like bother looking at it and it was stained. The other one, the smaller one, didn't have a uh, made in France uh, hologram inside, but it was a really good quality and I think it was like 30 bucks. Anyway, if there's no video after this, then remember to remain positive, progressive, and productive. And I'll see you guys in the next clip or in the next video. I tried to find a cane in there. I couldn't find a cane because I need a cane for walking. I was actually going to buy an umbrella or a hockey stick. But then I realized and I said to myself, how weird would I look walking around limping, holding an umbrella or a hockey stick or a golf club? I was practicing walking with all of them, the umbrella, the hockey stick and the golf club. It wasn't working for me. Hey, guys, we're coming from Value Village. Um, the only other two things that we got were this hanger right here because you can hang like pants on it. And the other only thing that we got was this bench hoodie. It was, I think I paid $18 for both of them. The hoodie was $16.99, but I got $2 off of it. This, I'm just gonna pay full price, $3, whatever. <laughs> I'm still limping. But um, yeah, I can probably sell this hoodie for 25 to 30 because they're very expensive. It's cloudy. Earlier, it was like really nice. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for coming thrifting with me with Miss Limp Philly. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. I was in a video yesterday. It was just I only had like eight minutes of footage. I actually got like a message on Instagram saying, Bitch, where is your video? I hate to be one of those people asking, but I need your video. And I was like, I'm sorry. I only vlogged eight minutes of footage. And then I planned on going back in the evening to vlog. But then I fell asleep because I was so tired. And it didn't happen. I feel like there's not enough time in a day to fit everything that you're trying to accomplish. I'm sure with proper itemization and prioritizing and calculating that it can be done. But for me personally, I've been struggling a lot with trying to fit everything into one day. I feel like when you're trying to progress successfully financially, employment-wise, business-wise, it's hard to balance that with trying to progress yourself physically, health-wise, even like mental health-wise as well. I feel like there's not enough time in the day to fit. Ooh, that guy's cute. I just noticed. I have really good. That's one thing you guys should know about. Oh, he is really cute. I think he's with his mama. <laughs> um, when I, oh, there he is. When I 
when I see like a hot guy, it's like room. Like I can just, it's like my brain, like say I'm looking at you guys, but I have my um, peripheral vision. I can still see it here. It's like it scans over there and there's like a full scan view outline of the guy. And then I see like, uh, you know, some colors or something and I just see the outline and I look and it's like, yeah, I'm right. It was a hot guy. <laughs> and I'm usually right on point when it comes to that. But anyway, distracted by a hot guy. Um, I just wanted to say that it, it's like, that's what I'm struggling with right now. Like you guys see, I'm back to wearing my black. It, only because it's also cold, so I can't wear the quarter length sleeve anymore. But the fact that I'm wearing this black jacket again, which is a 4X, which actually fits me right now again. So it's like, it went from being loose to fitting again. Like I'm sure it's still kind of loose, but it's not as loose as it was when I was 275 pounds. I guess that's why I'm kind of thinking about health wise and physical and you know exercising and nutrition and and uh, mental health as well so it's it's like I guess that's why I was thinking because on, on my way out of the out of my house I was like looking in the mirror on the way out I was like damn I'm wearing this again <laughs> but you can't cry over something you can't uh, you can't What's the word I'm looking for? Pop, not, um, when you're kind of like focusing on it too much, way too much, that it's a detriment. You can't do that because it's not productive at all and it's not positive at all, obviously. So, yeah, I'm just trying. And, and, and it's like, and plus, you know, my health was like an issue with the whole allergies turning into a bad cold and cough. And then my foot. So it's like, how can I even like work on myself physically it's like I can't well I mean I guess I could sit there and do like arm exercises but I choose not to that's on me obviously but for me I, I prefer to work out with cardio and like get my sweat pumping and body heart pumping and sweat going and I don't know maybe I can because I just feel like it's boring I'm just sitting there doing this or that or I, I don't know what I'm anyway yeah that's what the struggle is at the moment because I was talking to my friend on Facebook Messenger, I was like, I am not spending 2019 being uncomfortable and being overweight or severely overweight. I want 2019 to be the year of me being free of being self-conscious. I want 2019 to be me being happy, traveling, meeting people, socializing, you know, and and all that good stuff because it's like i don't know i'm i'm so much as much as i hate people and i'm such an introvert sometimes i do love people i know that sounds like such a contradiction but i love people i love meeting people i love you know learning i love socializing yesterday i tried going to valley village to find a cane i could not find a cane Hopefully I find a cane here or I'm going to try Salvation Army. Maybe they have a cane over there. I find more old people donate to Salvation Army. I don't know. That's just what I see with my own two eyes. It's not a generalization. It's not racism. Ugh, I can never say anything without offending anybody. I think I actually found something better. I found this walking cane over here. There we go. Perfect. This is what we need. Yes. That's what we need. I'm glad that we found it here. Thick. And we found this super cute gray carpet. Yay, found two things today. Okay, we're just looking for bags. Trying to film as discreetly as possible. Actually, this is, having a cart is actually really good. It helps me to balance myself. So. That's cute. This is like a big Prada. The vendor. Thank you. 
There's genuine leather. Right? Oh, here's a couch. But I don't think it was. Oh, it might sell. 17 bucks. I don't know. It's cute, but it's a little dirty. It has the long strap, which is good. It's not factory outlet. There's a little bit of dirt right there. I don't think the style would sell though for some reason. But the canvas is in overall pretty good condition. I'm wearing my Tiffany bangle today. And I can always return it if it doesn't sell. There's no Marc Jacobs label inside. This is a matinette for 29. The Kate Spade um, laptop bag for $11. That's kind of cute. I think it's the vintage kind. Not vintage, vintage, but the older. Yeah, I think it's authentic. That lady over there is like, this is all her doing, like, um, like right there. You see all that? That's because of her. When I tell her, I'm like, why can't you just pick it up? Look at that ridiculousness. Like, who does that? Like, whenever I drop something, I always, like, pick it up. And if my foot wasn't hurting right now, I would clean it up for the staff, but... My foot hurts. And, oh, okay, that's Adidas. It's kind of cool. Chef Stoneware. 25 bucks, which is a good deal, except there is a chip in it. Like that. I mean, it's not really that noticeable. And, I mean, it's just on the wood. Like, this itself is in pretty good condition. Made in USA. Pampered Chef. Otherwise, it's in pretty good condition. But I have a Le Creuset one already, so why do I need two casserole dishes? I don't know. This would make some really good shelving. It's small, it's deep. 25 bucks, minus 20%. Yes. Carpet for $15 minus 30% plus tax, so it came up to like maybe like 10 bucks. And then my walking stick, we picked it up for $7 plus tax. And then I'll show you guys what we got in this bag. <sighs> I love the managers at this value village. They're so awesome. <laughs> We're at the Valley Village by my place. Uh, we picked up a couple things. You guys saw the walking stick. <laughs> That's actually pretty expensive. I think it retails for like 50, I think. It's really good because it's lightweight, but it's also really sturdy. So actually helps a lot. Oh, thank God, press Jesus, I found a walking stick. <laughs> so much better than a cane. A cane is less balanced. This has four claws for feet, so there's more balance to it. But we did pick up a couple things. They gave me like a free reusable bag. Thank you. So we picked up this Kate Spade laptop bag. It's a little bit dirty, but I'm going to try and clean it up. But for freaking $11, you can't beat that. And it's, I think, older Kate Spade because it's printed on rather than, um, like, the you always see, like, the heart uh, uh, stud and stuff. So I think this is a little bit older. And it's kind of, like, black and cream. So it's really cute. I have a Marc Jacobs one that I don't even use. I don't know why I bought it, but I figured that Kate Spade is more popular than Mark by Marc Jacobs. So hopefully it sells for, like, $20. We picked up this coach bag, a little bit dirty, like, but I mean, otherwise the canvas is in super good condition. A little fading on the handles, but it's not factory outlet. That's why I got it. Plus, 
it has the front pockets and then it has a zip top closure and it has the shoulder plus the longer shoulder strap so that's why we picked this up $17 minus 30% plus tax hopefully I can get at least $30 for it I mean overall it's in really good condition and it's a nice neutral color there we go super cute that guy's kind of cute too <sighs> and then I picked this up I just thought it was super cute for the holidays, just like something small and something whatever. You put a little tea light candle in it, but I think I'm going to put a, um, a LED tea light candle in it. It's super cute just for the holidays, you know, just a little bit of decor. I'm not going to decorate like extravagantly, just little bouts of decor here and there. So I picked that up for two bucks minus 30% plus tax. I got uh, I got these when every and whenever I said I'm gonna have my own Christmas tree, I always promised myself I wanted some bougie ass decorations, not freaking dollar store decorations. So my Christmas tree this year is gonna be bougie decorations. I love ornamental. I love glass ornaments. I love you know things that are not super expensive but at least look expensive and these look expensive these are ceramic um christmas ornaments you have the angel right there and then you have three more angels right two more angels here and then there are well two i guess partridges in a pear tree i don't know partridges on a wreath and then a sleigh and then a uh an angel and um These are four dollars for one, two, for four ornaments, which I think so a dollar a piece. That's not actually bad for something that's ceramic and they're all in great condition. Um, yeah, I just thought that was really nice. And then we got this ornament. This is a little bit expensive. It was four dollars minus thirty percent plus tax, but it sold at um, Winners for seven dollars. So. Yeah, I just thought this was nice and bougie as well. But even though it's like plastic, I mean, you can probably get this at Dollarama, but whatever. <laughs> it looks really cute, I think. Like a little bougie decoration. And then I got this garland. I was considering getting it at, at the Dollarama because garland is garland, you know. There's no designer garland. But I think this is longer, which I like. So this was $3 minus 30% plus tax. But the ones at Dollarama and Dollar Store are not as much. And I think it's like $2 or $2.50. So I thought I might as well just get it here. I like silver garland. That just reminds me of Christmas. You know, I am I'm, I'm partial to silver garland than to like green and blues. And blues I like actually. Maybe like a blue and silver. And the last thing that we got was this uh, bench hoodie. Super cheap. It's a fleece. This is an extra large $7 minus 30% plus tax. Super soft. And it has the spell out on the, on the arm there. I tend to pick a bench if it's... Oh, there's a hole in it. Oh, that's why it was inexpensive. There's two holes in it. There's two holes. Ugh. But actually, it doesn't even affect it that much. Like right here, see? Okay, I might have to return that. Or I can I can just get my mom to sew it, actually, maybe. And it won't be noticeable. Yeah. Um, but regardless, the, the Bench is an expensive brand. Like their hoodies, like their their box logo logo hoodies, the one I got, that pink one from the last haul, those retail for like $99 plus tax, so $113. These ones I think are like $50. So to get it for literally five bucks, I mean, that's a deal, you know. And we can probably fix that hoodie. My mom is a good sewer, so she can sew that back. It's not even like a, a toll. It's like a separating from the seam. So hopefully that can be fixed. Or I can just even just give it to my sister because, I mean, she can dress in like nice designer clothes in, in middle school. <laughs> so we got that. So we have a new law that passed in my city where it's called, um, well, you can't use cell phones, period. But they actually passed a new law where it's like, it's called 
distracted driving so they can actually pull you over and give you a ticket if they deem that you're distracted. That includes like eating and what the fuck? Putting on makeup, reading, maybe looking at bills or receipts or something, who knows? But hopefully this isn't considered distracted because I mean, it's not in my peripheral vision. Well, it's in my peripheral vision, not in my direct vision, I mean. <laughs> But, yeah. Okay, we're on our way to the Salvation Army. And hopefully we find something good. It's seven degrees here right now. So I don't know. I think that's like 22 maybe in America Fahrenheit. I spent all money. Remember guys how I told you I only have like $150 left? <laughs> well, that $150 turned into $180 because I sold a couple of things on Facebook Facebook uh, buy and sell groups not marketplace I'm still banned on marketplace marketplace is F beyond because they keep approving me saying yeah you're back but then the next day they're like okay you're gone and then it's happened at least six or seven times so every time I keep requesting review requesting review and I don't think I'm gonna I don't know I don't think I'm gonna come back officially on Facebook marketplace I think I'm just they're just toying with me those mother effers anyway <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it turned to 180 but now I spent $55 here, so it's back to like, it's back to 130 so, well, down to 130 uh, Well, 125 technically. I need to make more sales, man. Mo sales, mo money. Mo sales, mo money. I was telling my friend we should rob a, rob a bank. <laughs> Easy money. And nobody really gets hurt when you rob a bank, okay? Granted, I'm not doing it for medical reasons, or I'm not doing it for, you know, something that might be, that might be uh, considered okay, and I use okay in quotations because it's never okay to rob, and why the hell is Salvation Army so busy? I'm doing it for luxury and to buy male prostitutes. I'm sorry, but I don't think there's anything wrong with buying prostitutes. Sorry, not buying, renting prostitutes. I don't. I mean, I'm not opposed to sleeping my way for money. <laughs> I mean, I'd still be picky. He'd have to be at least decent looking. I don't know. But even if I were, like, super rich, I would not be opposed to, like, if I just don't want the hassle. Like, say I'm, say, like, I'm a busy woman. I'm a busy businesswoman. And I don't want the hassle of a boyfriend. I wouldn't be opposed to like getting a male escort or like a male gigolo or whatever because sometimes you want all of that without the hassle of the relationship i don't know that's just my personal opinion i mean you don't want the whole uh-huh is he gonna call me he's not calling me or uh i have to do what he wants at least when you hire a male gigolo prostitute escort whatever it's kind of like just he does what you want because you're paying him for his time you know <sighs> i don't know out, uh, here in, in where I live, prostitution and escorting is legal. Uh, it is, but it isn't. There's like a loophole. It's an illegal if you solicit on the street. And obviously, if you solicit anybody underage, obviously. But if it's done through the phone or through private or, you know, things like that, then it's legal. From my understanding, that's, that's how it works here. And I know in Vegas, prostitution is legal. Uh... Obviously, they have a brothel there, the Bunny Ranch. Oh, they used to have a lady ranch there. And they had, like, male prostitutes. Oh, I should have went there before they closed down in 2014. <laughs> Opened in 2010, closed in 2014. I wouldn't mind having my own, like, male gigolos. But the thing is, I think, I think that women are less likely to pay for that than men paying for women or gay men paying for men, you know? Considering getting me this. Lulu. It's kind of cute. 20 bucks though. It's like to be a 12, maybe a 10. Maybe a 10. I don't like it when it's like that, where it's like faded looking, but not faded. Like it ha it's like in between fading and not fading. I don't know. Super cute. And it's like the staining on it, like right there and right there. 
right there. Other than that, I mean, it's priced at 25, so it's kind of too much to pay for something that's stained. It is brand new though. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is authentic. It's really cute. It's like a bucket bag. I wonder if there's a way to look at it. Still have the, the Prada in here too. That's not real. I can tell by the hardware over there. And that's the Valentino. More Valentino. I have a Gucci there too, they have a guest over there. I heard from Craigslist Hunter that the single, um, the single cassettes do better than the double cassettes. Um, Lloyd's. See, I, I'm like so nervous to try and kind of do this kind of stuff with electronics because it's you never know if it works. I don't have any speakers to hook up to it. So it's kind of like, does it work? Does it not work? They have, that. They have like receivers. They have this printer over here too. We have the Louis Vuitton. <laughs> well, that's actually, I kind of want to get that just for like novelty purposes. Okay, we're coming from the Salvation Army. The only other thing we got was this Pandora. Um, Christmas ornament to match the other Christmas ornaments I bought. So I thought that was kind of a good deal for, for five bucks, so. Like it comes with this little pouch. I guess you can get like a Pandora, um, I guess like jewelry, stuff it in there and give it like as a Christmas, oh, oops, Christmas gift. This is from 2016, so I looked online. These actually like sell for like $10 US. So, I mean, I guess it's somewhat a deal because I only paid $5 for it. So I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs>